Welcome everybody to Adventure Valley, our first park up on the list here by the one and only Lyric. And Lyric says this about the park. Welcome to Adventure Valley, an adventure theme park. You might notice that there aren't many cars in the parking lot, but this once booming park was super busy until Redwood Zoo opened across town. There's a shout out to his Planet Zoo Park. Y'all go check that out. Um, this park is nothing short of amazing. It has five coasters, a log plume, and a gift shop. Enjoy your time in Adventure Valley. View the park at day or night. Created by Lyric. All right, guys, we're going to get straight into this thing. Head through the parking lot. I got Cold Sore with me again here today, guys. Cold Sore, how are you doing, man? Good, good. What's up, guys? <clears throat> yeah, not a whole lot, man. Just uh, just ready to get into this and uh, show off our first official park of this, uh, this showcase, man. Do it. Really liking the signage right off the bat here coming through. Really good sign work there. Uh, I know Lyric's been doing bridges in like every park that he's built recently, so definitely seeing that beam work come into play right out the gate. That looks good. All right, Sean, coming right across the bridge here. We're going to take a left into this park and see what we got. It looks like right off the bat we're coming up to a roller coaster here, and I'm really liking the way this is themed out already super jungle vibe as you get into this thing jungle fever everybody because of course <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to go on the right exit there exactly why not <laughs> we're going to make our way over to the proper entrance here that's that's old clouds that guy used to go in the exits this this new clouds doesn't he's gotten better follow our queue around here see what we got Lots of foliage. Looks good. Yeah, you're really entrenched in all this. It's definitely got that deep, deep jungle vibe to it. All right, this thing's looking good, man. I'm excited to get on this. All right, everybody, enjoy your ride on Jungle Fever. All right, then we're going to make our way back around here and head up the center of this park. There is quite the cluster of people here, man. This is a busy, busy segment of the uh, the park here. I guess it is like the main kind of pathway. Anaconda. We got another one back there. everybody here it is we are on anaconda enjoy your ride cold sore given that this is a uh, water ride i mean if there's any thoughts that you have as we go through that you want to kind of shout out or, or comments that you want to make about the ride we can kind of talk through this one of the coasters we kind of sit through most of the time but yeah i like it uh, i like the color and the, and the terrain and everything I like the usage of the snakes Nice little splash down there, too. And again, with the little viewing window, guests can see in here and be like, oh, man, they got a water ride in this park. I like his uh, choices for the design. It's super cool looking. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Got some kind of a tower down here spitting out some lava, it looks like. Yeah. Really cool theme. I've seen Lyric do so much, like, spooky and Halloween stuff, and then some of his recent parks uh, have, have been... Uh, kind of branching out from that, and I think this might have been an earlier build, but still to to just see something different than the spooky stuff uh, is is always really neat. I'm liking this park a lot. Yeah, it looks good. Doing a good job on it. Uh, called Adventure Adventure Land, so yeah, like a two for two of looking at this. Like he's uh, he's definitely nailing it as far as the theming and everything too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And thankfully, uh, Planko lends itself a lot of adventure pieces to work with. Yeah, that's good. Uh, 
Yeah, it's cool seeing a log bloom because you don't see them that often either, so I like that. That's true. I wasn't expecting one back here. When I when I saw the anaconda sign, for some reason, I just kind of thought that it was going to be another coaster. But, uh, yeah, right. it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, nice. Classic log bloom drop. Yeah. Ooh, snake, snake pit. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Big old pit full of anacondas. I say I had a lot of fun riding the anaconda. Uh, can, I, can I say that here? I, I think so. Yeah, cup the lyric land, ride the anaconda. Right. right. <laughs> Drop tower here. Let's see. Where do we want to go here? Booby trap. <clears throat> I think there's a running theme going here. Yeah, maybe a little bit, yeah. <laughs> All right, here we are at Booby Trap, ready to take a ride. So we're going to pop through this little queue here. Made sure to go in the entrance this time. I'm going to fight through some brush here, fight the jungle. Authentic. Yeah. <laughs> coaster coming into the station right now for us. We're going to go ahead and hop on here that. Here it is, everybody. Way. Booby Trap. Very nicely done. Uh, really, really like that lyric. I don't um, see you kind of do those kind of uh, inversion coasters a lot. So that was really, really cool to see you uh, throw some loops and different, not loops, but inversions in there and stuff. I really, really enjoyed good. that. And I did want to point out, uh, I know we kind of crashed into these doors here. That is because we were on train like two or three, something like that. So the triggered effect had just went off on the train car before us. It, it is triggered. That's nothing against Lyric. That was just poor timing on uh, the train choice that I chose. But other than that, man, an absolutely stellar ride. This was really cool. Uh, you, you should build more stuff like this, man. This was this is really good. Uh, Colter, what would you think, man? Ah, it's great. Good, good spots for the launching and all kinds of... Yeah, like, watch that one right there. Oh, yeah, we would have we caught that one. I think that one is in the timing. Yep. But, um, oh, yeah. Yeah, this whole thing looks great. I like it. All right, gonna move on next to this blue one over here and see what we got. Uh, anacondas, We're... jungle fever, booby trap. Mm -hmm. Deep, deep, deep in the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Lear. We have fun with this. You're you're the homie, so you already know what it is, man. We're just having a good time. Love this park, mm -hmm. man. Uh, it's not my first time seeing it. Uh, Temple Run, is that what this is? No, he's named this something else. I watched him build this coaster, actually. Mm -hmm. I was watching a, a little bit of this too before he actually uh, landscaped all this. Looks really good. Yeah, this was super fun. All right, next up, we're gonna hop on this blue monster over here and ride Tropical Lagoon. Uh, like I said, I've actually I was here with Lyric when he built this uh, this coaster originally. So super cool to see this thing make a comeback and find its way into this part because I don't think it was originally built for that so we're gonna hop on Tropical Lagoon and take a ride. Alright, Tropical Lagoon, enjoy. Yeah, that was super cool. I like the design on this one, uh, the way it flew through the, uh, I, I like what he did here, the whole theming of the lagoon and everything, really captured that, that feel, the theme for it. I like this. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely uh, really like this. A couple little areas that uh, maybe some of the banking and stuff, but other than that, I uh, really enjoyed this one. I think so far my favorite has been Booby Trap. I think it might be my favorite throughout the whole park, uh, but that doesn't take away from this one at all. I really like the theming over here. The uh, the custom roofing here really tells a story on this uh, this coaster here, so very cool to see. And then right across from that, we got the little gift shop in here. I wanted to pop in, take a look at that, and just keep making our way on around this path here. We'll follow this around to Temple Run over here. We'll take a look at that one. Really loving the foliage work throughout this whole place, man. This is just super, super good. It's stellar. I like his use of the adventure pieces. Laid out really well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Really liking this. All right, making our way through the queue line here for Temple Run. Gonna hop up on the ride and uh, see what we got up here, man. There's been some good coasters in this park, so I'm really excited to see what we got up next. Coming right back into the stage, and it's a dragon coaster. I love it. I love it. It's not a lyric nice. park if it doesn't have a dragon coaster. Enjoy your ride. And that, that's it. That's, that's it right there, man. That's how you do a Dragon Coaster. It, it was quick, sweet, to the point. It did what it was supposed to do. It had those valleys, the, the hills, everything spot on, nailed it. Just overall an absolutely well-designed uh, Dragon Coaster. It was thrilling, and it definitely had some elements in there that would put a little bit of G-forces on you and give you a little bit of air time, but it wasn't too crazy to where I couldn't believe that it would still be a family ride. This is something you could easily take your kids on or, or like your younger enthusiasts that are just getting into coasters. Uh, so super cool, man. Uh, Cold Sore, anything further to add? I, I feel like I kind of gushed about it. <laughs> nah, you're, you're, you're spot on. The color theming, the design, Again, with the whole adventure theming, really nailed it. And then mixing it with the Dragon Coaster, really loved the queue line too. And uh, yeah, this is uh, that was a lot of fun. Definitely a family family friendly ride. Yeah, absolutely, man. Totally agree. And uh, we're gonna move on here and see what else we got. And we came back around over by the Anaconda here. We found a little uh, area called Temple Plaza. So I'm gonna go take a look at that. I really like this little turnaround right here as it comes into the uh, the break run on this ride. Looks good. Got a good little view of it. Yeah, that's nice. Lyric always does that. He always uh, incorporates the coasters uh, coming up against the pathing. So really enjoy that in his builds. This area through here is kind of neat. Oh, I like that. Yep. Yep. Speaking of Lyric, uh... oh, look at the timing. Yes. Nice. We nice. love it. Uh the other guests can see the action too that's pretty cool get people oh. hyped up for the ride yeah uh, mm -hmm. i like how you made it look like a crumbling uh you know uh what do you call it you know remain uh not remains uh you know you know what i'm saying uh, yeah the like whole, the temple's uh, kind of falling apart yeah got a little expedition truck up here what is this a coaster oh okay yeah we got another coaster we can hop on take a look at so we'll uh we'll pop on this thing and take a ride all right, here we are on the wooden coaster at the Temple Plaza, everybody. Enjoy your ride.
Yeah, it was nice. Kept uh, kept a decent pace throughout. Didn't do anything like too crazy. I feel like it could have been a nice little like uh, family style coaster there. Yeah, really cool. Uh, you can't go wrong riding a, a good Woody, you know. Like, uh, and the, <clears throat> the the choice of the theming that he did through this was was spot on. I like really really like that ride a lot. Smooth. Uh, just going through. It, it, it's just a fun ride. And I the monster is one of my favorite designs in Planet Coaster too. But he did a really good job with it. And uh, yeah, right on lyric. Yeah, for sure. Really like that one. I'm always a fan of a good wooden coaster. So uh, yeah, cool to see, man. Very good. And uh, we'll move on to our next one here. Right, and I think as we close this one out, we're going to switch over to a nighttime shot of this. Uh, I hope that I've done this park justice and shown off everything there is to see in it. Uh, Lyric, if there is anything that I have missed, I apologize. You guys know I try my hardest to showcase everything you've got in these parks. Uh, but I have thoroughly enjoyed my time in this thing. This has been really awesome. I love that you've kind of stepped out and done that adventure theme with this, and you've absolutely nailed it. Every ride felt like you were deep in a jungle somewhere and uh, just really had that enclosed, claustrophobic kind of feel to it, and I, not claustrophobic in a bad way at all. 100% uh, nailed it, and uh, I'm excited to see what you do moving forward in Planet Zoo since I know that's kind of uh, the direction that you're heading with your YouTube channel and uh, your your Frontier Games career, man. So uh, super cool. And we'll uh, hit over to Cold Sore here and see what he thinks. For somebody that uh, says they might be burnt out on, on Planet Coaster, I'm, I'm going to have to tell him he's nuts after this. This is a great, great little mini park, man. <laughs> really enjoyed this. If you're looking for that adventure vibe, this is where I would I would head if I had some place near me. And... Uh, and then to top that off with everything we've seen with the foliage, the design, the layout's even cool. The lighting at night, if anybody knows me, is my water feature. So this is how it's done, too. You got a, a great aerial of the lighting of the park. If you, if you travel through the park, I, I like it. I can't really say anything wrong with this, this park at all. A great build, Lyric. Yeah, absolutely agree. Uh, Lyric, thank you so much for taking part in this, man. I know that you have, like we said, stepped away from Planko a little bit to do Planet Zoo, but I appreciate you coming back long enough to get this uploaded for us and uh, to let us showcase this thing, man. Uh, so, again, thank you so much, and we're going to keep moving on into the next park here in the next episode.